first day of school. I'm so excited. I had my first class at 10 a.m. So I woke up at 9 and now I'm gonna pick out what I'm gonna wear. I think I have the perfect thing. I'm totally not a morning person at all, but this summer I was in Prague and we had rehearsals for the opera orchestra like every morning at like 9 or 10. So I would get up super early so I would have time to like practice, eat breakfast, um, do whatever was fun for me because uh, after a long day of rehearsals I didn't feel like doing any of my hobbies so I had to get those done like before class even started. So now I've kind of brought this habit over. It's not like I'm waking up insanely early, like 8.30 is not that early compared to some people but it's made a big difference for me because I used to just wake up and go straight to class. So I'm on my way to a class called Performance Techniques and this is a new class I'm taking this semester um, and I'm not technically required to take it to graduate but I feel like it's going to be really useful just for my life in general so I'll let you know what I think about the class after it's done. I just got back from class and now I'm gonna have a little lunch break. I have my Foreman grill here and I'm gonna make some paninis because although it's hot outside, I want some warm comfort food. If you're a busy college student, a Foreman grill is a must have. It's great for dorms and you can cook up meat, sandwiches. This has been my obsession meal. It's super easy. It's literally just bread, pesto, add some cheese. I used mozzarella and some meat. I use chicken and then you just throw that in the grill for a little bit and you have the perfect sandwich. So today in the performance techniques class we basically got like an overview of what we're gonna basically learn and after having that overview I really feel like this is the class for me even though it's again not required for my graduation and it is a whole extra class that meets once a week for, you know, two hours. Um, I think it'll really be worth it. This is seriously the best lunch ever. I got my iced tea, my ooey gooey pesto panini. So delicious. I actually had the funniest interaction during class today. Mm. Someone actually recognized me from my videos. He was like, I think I know you from the internet. You make YouTube videos, right? And I was like, Whoop. literally every beginning of semester, I get like a bunch of messages of people asking me questions about my hand school of music and I'm kind of like, hmm, MSM, where's my commission? <laughs> no, but seriously, I love answering questions and I'm glad that my videos are able to help people feel less anxious when they're going to conservatory because they kind of get to live it through me first. So now I'm on my way back to school for my first film slash narrative class. I'm really curious to see what this class is about because there wasn't really like a course description online. Also, it is so hot outside today. Oh, I hate it. My film class which I'll talk about later because now I'm on my way back to school because I got this like cryptic text from my teacher being like I am at school on the fourth floor if you want a lesson come and I was like wait does that mean I was supposed to have a lesson and I like didn't get the email because usually we have lessons on the first week of school and I was gonna email him tonight because I haven't heard anything um, I'm really stressed out because I'm worried that I didn't see the email which means I'm stuck with a Wednesday slot which is like the worst because I am so busy on Wednesdays. So pray for me that this is not a scheduled lesson and that you didn't send out the email, please. All right, I'm back in my apartment. I got my boba and giving Sherlock some quality time, although I guess he doesn't want it because he just ran away. So thankfully, that was not a lesson. Um, he was just kind of like giving a lesson to whoever was available. But I was just really worried because how it works, at least in my studio, is that he'll send out an email with all the available times and then it's like first come first serve. And I absolutely did not want to get a Wednesday spot, like Wednesday is my busiest day. The last one went really great. I didn't even have time to warm up or anything and like I was just able to play my concerto that I haven't practiced in like a week, which is a really good sign for my auditions coming up. 
And it looks like my teacher was really proud of me, but what's more important is that I was proud of how I played. In conservatory, a lot of people place a lot of emphasis on what their teacher thinks, like they'll practice to play well for their lesson for their teacher, or they'll be nervous for a recital because their teacher was there. That was me, like all of conservatory. But now I've gotten to the point where I've realized like, I'm not practicing for my teacher, like I'm practicing for myself to be a better musician. And that seems like such a silly, obvious thing, but you can kind of get caught up in your own thoughts and it's not as obvious as you would think. So I didn't get a chance to talk about my film class before, um, and I thought it was such a blast. Um, we watched a Charlie Chaplin silent film, and I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it, but I really do. It is kind of a lot of work. Like, the class is longer than most other classes because we watch movies in class, and there's supplemental movies to watch. Like, it, it's not like hard work. I feel like I'm actually gonna really enjoy this. So I'm gonna take some time off the camera to relax, hang out with my dog, and I'll catch you guys for when I'm making dinner because I'm so excited for what I'm making. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> I'm just about to start practicing. My schedule got totally out of whack today because of the random extra lesson I had. Um, so now it's about 7.30 and I'm gonna try to practice until 9.30 and taking breaks like I learned in my technique class. Um, I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes and at that 30 minute mark, I'm gonna put down my cello, do some stretches and then start again. So I'm really trying to be more efficient when I'm practicing um, and for less amount of time. All right, my timer rang. So now I'm getting up and doing some stretches just to reset. This one is a good one. You basically put your palms together like a prayer hand. I am sure we're going to learn lots of great stretches in my class, so if you want to see that in a future video, definitely comment below and let me know. And it's back to the grind. <laughs> After my practice, I cooked dinner. I hate eating the same thing every week, so I try to try something new every once in a while. Today I'm making a chicken risotto. I've never made risotto before, I was really nervous, but I followed the recipe to a T and it turned out delicious. I'll leave it linked in the bio if you want to try, um, but I highly recommend it. It was a super easy, healthy, fast meal to make. really important to relax and unwind after a long day and lately I've been getting into a new hobby which is crocheting this is so great for my anxiety because it's kind of like a fidget that I can do with my hands and I love doing this while I'm watching my favorite show right now I'm watching Gilmore Girls believe it or not for the very first time I'm addicted comment below and let me know your favorite show morning it's bright and early today i have my first theory class i'm really curious to see what this class is all about because there wasn't like a course description online um but yeah I'll let you know what i think about the class my class ended early so i'm just going to the post office to drop off some poshmark orders and some shop orders I own an online business, so I'm here at the post office about once a week. This week's orders was a nice assortment of music-themed hoodies, stickers, and notebooks. And after all that hard work, I rewarded myself to a bubble tea. This place is super cute. It's on the Upper West Side. You should definitely check it out if you're in that area. I love the signs inside and the boba is absolutely delicious. I am a boba fiend, literal favorite drink. As I was walking by Columbia on my way back, I spotted this adorable farmer's market. I had no idea this was here. Um, it's by 116th Street on Thursdays and Sundays. You should definitely check it out if you're in the area. All right, so I'm back from the post office. I got changed into workout clothes because I had to take my dog outside and it is so hot, so hot outside. It's like 95 degrees. I am waiting for the fall weather to come back. 
My creative spirituality class is actually going to be so interesting. It's taught by one of my favorite professors at MSM. I just love the way that he makes theory so exciting. Like you can tell that he's really, really passionate about it. And this class is going to focus on different world religions and spirituality and how that affects the music that those cultures make. So it's going to be like mostly non-Western culture. We went through the syllabus today and it looked really interesting. We're going to look at Scriabin, we're going to look at Bach, we're going to look at Indian ragas, we're going to look at so many cool things. One of the reasons I love this professor is that he strongly believes in learning by doing. So in this class, we're actually going to be playing the music that we're learning about. So for example, next week, we're gonna go over Indian music, Indian ragas. So we're all gonna bring our instruments and play and improvise together, which is really out of my comfort zone, but I'm actually excited to actually get to like experience this music that we're learning about. I'm super happy with all of the classes that I picked this semester, and I'm really looking forward to getting started on the curriculum. I just finished practicing two hours and today I implemented the new stuff I learned in my class, which was to take a break every 20 minutes and during those 20 minutes to be really concentrated. And um, I was able to do two hours without checking my phone, which is amazing. Um, I still have two more to go, so I'm gonna take like a longer break right now, go on a walk, like, you know, get all energized again um, and then I'll go back and do the other two hours but um, I'm really really happy with how this method works like it takes longer to get through the hour of practice because I'm taking a break every 20 minutes but the payoff is amazing like this is incredible I can't wait for what else I'm gonna learn in the class that's gonna help me out After dinner, I worked on my small business. We're rolling out notebooks this month, which is super, super exciting. And they turned out so cute. Good morning, it's finally Friday. And as you can see, I am still in my pajamas because it is currently 9.30 in the morning and I'm going to start my first practice session. I'm going to my friend's birthday this evening, which is um, downtown on this really cool like speakeasy. Um, so I have to start practicing early in order to get everything I need to get done, done. <laughs> Today is like a legging kind of day. Um, so what I like to do to dress up leggings is just put a nice top with it. Today I'm gonna do this blouse because it's like 80 degrees outside, but I think it's super cute for the fall to like just wear a sweater or something. Um, I'll show you the full fit check when I'm on my way. I'm kind of running late. So I gotta get ready really, really fast. It was like 90 degrees and sunny on my way to class and now it's super rainy. I was so surprised. We finished the movie and I looked out the window and I was like, oh my God. It's raining, <laughs> what a weird temperature change. So today in film class, we finished City Lights and we also watched Modern World. I am so glad to actually have taken the time to sit down and watch Charlie Chaplin. He's infamous, right? Like, we all know about him, who he is. But personally, I haven't sat down to watch any of his movies. And same goes for like Marilyn Monroe movies. Like, we all know her, but how many of us have actually sat down and like watched her movies, you know? One thing about me is that when it comes to movies, I am a crier. I always cry at movies, so I definitely was like tearing up at the end. What I thought was really refreshing about this kind of movie is that it's comedy, but you also like feel for the character. Like the character is a complete clown, right? But you still like care what happens to him in the end. And I think that's missing from a lot of modern movies is like sometimes the movie is just about a goof and a gaff, and it's not really about like exploring any complex themes and that's something that I really wish movies had more of now. Tonight is my friend's birthday party so I'm going to go practice one more hour and then get ready for that. I don't know what I'm gonna wear because it's like hot but it's also like thunderstorming so we'll see. I put together a collage of our best pictures together as a birthday card she has been my ride or die since freshman year and I feel like it's so important in a competitive environment like conservatory to have those true friends. So I'm running a little bit late. Everything today was like one thing after the other. So I'm just gonna show you my really quick makeup routine when I'm running late. I just 
dab some foundation on my fingers and like put it over the areas where I'm like really red, which would be like my forehead, my cheeks, my nose. I don't really put it all over because thankfully I've been blessed with having like decent skin lately, which was not always the case when I was growing up. All right, that looks to be good. I'm just trying to get like an even base. The concealer just under my eyes because I just tend to get really red. And then a couple of spots on my face. Uh, I feel like I'm on like a baking show, you know, like the last couple seconds are ticking down. Uh, my worst fear is that when I do my makeup like this quickly, that people will be able to see that it's like not well blended. Um, but I just feel like my finger works better than using brushes. Um, obviously clean fingers. <laughs> All right, this is the next part. I take, oops, that's highlighter blush there it is i take bronzer go like that i also just dab some on my eye as like kind of an eyeshadow and just blend that in which is the hardest part gonna make sure that this part is blended you can see in like less than a minute two minutes it's already looking much better I'm gonna skip the blush today because like it's really hot and I'm gonna sweat anyway. Just add some highlighter here. All right. And to finish off the eyes, I've got this powder um, highlighter that I'm just going to put on my cheekbones. Powder is great because it kind of just auto blends. A little bit here, a little bit here, and then I kind of use this as like a eyeshadow, put it all over my lid. All right, and last but not least, oops. oh my god, my drawer fell apart. Ah! Okay. Mascara. Now, this part I have often made the mistake of brushing, and then it gets all over my lid. So today I'm not going to make that mistake. This is the one part you don't want to rush. All right, there we go. Minimal yet glam. And I always throw in a lipstick into my bag because I don't have to do it right away. But let's see, I have a little extra time. I'll just go in. I know you're supposed to do the eyebrow pencil before mascara, but um, it is what it is. I kind of forgot about it. I don't always do this part, but all right. Uh, right, I always throw in a lipstick into my bag. I'm just gonna put some on right now. I have small lips, so this part's pretty fast. And there we go. A really quick <laughs> glam look. It's like not anything complex, complicated, but it just makes me look put together when I'm literally scrambling to go places. All right, I am heading off to the party. This is one of the coolest bars that I've been to in a while. It's a speakeasy with a tiki vibe. There's a piano player, which is so much fun and all of these cool lights. And of course, the drinks were absolutely delicious. I had such a fun time. That's all from me this week. Thank you so much for coming along for my first week of school. I really hope to see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye!